specific vulnerable. Whenever I think of vulnerable work, my mind always goes to Tracy Ellen. All of her work rejects veils and sugarcoating and tells you exactly what it is. So this work is specific because it is a recognizable object. However, while both Emin and Gonzalez Torres are both only showing objects, Emin's intentions are immediately clear. My bed is exactly as it suggests, a carbon copy of the artist's bedroom and all of its mess and privacy. Here is my work that exists in the same space. The visuals are somewhat helpful, more literal interpretations of the moments in question. The subject matter here is also about myself, as with the last work, I'm part of this too. Both of these works give you everything you need to understand them. Here is all this work laid out on the scales. So why does any of this matter? Why do I think it's worth talking about? I mentioned before the purpose of the scale of vulnerability was to track my progress into creating more honest, more personal, and more self-referential artwork. So here's that process. Here's art I made in grade 10 and 11. It's defensive, it's vague, it's guarded, and it has nothing to do with me. It's all about you, the viewer. It's me making my personal experiences into a universal human experience. It's not bad art, and I still show it, but it was step one in having a more honest portfolio. Here is art I've made in the past year. It still includes the viewer, it is asking something of its audience, but the questions include me, too. It's asking for advice, it's admitting defeat, it's me telling you I also experience the things I've been talking about. This work is also interesting because a viewer can make it about themselves, or they can make it about me, or they can make it about both of us. Here is my most recent work, and in my opinion, the most vulnerable. It's not asking much at all from the viewer. I'm not asking you to experience it too. I'm not looking for a hand to hold. I'm looking for anyone who feels like listening, and regardless of whether you can relate, I trust that you can understand. This, from word of mouth, is people's favorite of my work. We've now entered uncharted territory, from me telling you that you experienced this, to me begging to know that you experienced this too, to me telling you what I experienced and not needing you to be a part of it with me. At the beginning of this talk, I mentioned my somewhat misguided sense of confidence in what I was saying in, during my last art talk. It's true, I did and still do feel like I knew what I was talking about. But I wanted to finish this with how fluid and fragile my understanding of this and even my own work really is. Every time I write about it, I have new questions to consider and new issues to be addressed. I would be lying if I claimed everything I've said tonight was absolutely indisputably true. It is possible someone is sitting here on a question that could tear apart half of this talk, but I hope not. <laughs> I guess my point is that I thought I would leave you say with all the answers. In reality, I think I have more questions now than when I started, but that's okay too. <laughs> Thank you to everything this program has given me. If this talk wasn't already so long, I would thank so many people, but it is. So thank you for giving me everything I have. Thank you. <laughs>